Dario Naharis joins the captains, Mero and Prendal N.A. Gezone, when they visit Daenerys Targaryen, who hopes to convince them to break their contract with Yunkai and fight for her instead. Dario sees through Daenerys's bluff that she has 10,000 unsullied, reminding her that she has only 8,000. When the second sons depart with Daenerys's offer and a barrel of wine, Dario's gaze lingers on the young queen. Back at their own camp, Dario, Mero and Prendal discuss the situation, with Mero and Prendal deciding to assassinate Daenerys. At Mero's behest, a bedslave, whom he spurns from sexual intercourse due to his self-imposed inability to make love to, property, hands out random coins of Bravos, Volantis and Marine. Dario draws the Bravosi coin that indicates he is the one to do the deed. His only response is, Valor Morgulis, all men must die. That night, Dario, wearing the armor of an unsullied slips into Daenerys' tent and takes Masande hostage. He then presents the heads of Mero and Prendal and informs her he has taken command of the second sons. Intrigued, Daenerys demands that he swear fealty to her. Dario bends the knee and swears the second sons, his sword, his life, and his heart to Daenerys. Dario later assists in planning the siege of Yunkai, and is selected, along with Sir Jorah Mormont and Grey Worm to infiltrate the city and open the gates from the inside. The plan succeeds brilliantly, and Jorah and Grey Worm return to their queen triumphant. Daenerys expresses concern over Dario's whereabouts, but he appears a moment later, presenting Yunkai's bloodstained flag to her. Dario is present outside the walls of Yunkai when Daenerys is greeted by the former slaves who have been liberated. He witnesses as the crowd lifts Daenerys up in the air as they shout, Wysa, to her.